The police department recently held its annual service awards ceremony to honor employees and residents for above and beyond public safety service. The ceremony was held on May 23rd at the Durham County Human Services Building. Recipients include police department employees, both officers and non-sworn staff, as well as residents who have helped to advance the ideals of law enforcement and public safety in extraordinary ways. The Civilian Supervisor of the Year Award was given to William Gascon, the Sworn Supervisor of the Year to Sergeant Jacqueline Warner, the Purple Heart to Officer Cody Slaughter, the Investigators of the Year to Investigator Ann Cristaldi and Investigator Antonio Stringham, Civilian of the Year to Rosemary Kearney and William McFadden, and the Police Medal to Aurelia Oturo and Ernesto Alcala. The Police Medal is the highest distinction presented to members of the general public who apprehend or cause to be apprehended dangerous people. The Unit of the Year Award went to the Property and Evidence Unit. For more information, be sure to follow at Durham Police NC on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Fire Department's Safety in Our City program is well underway. The 19-week program launched on April 27th and will run through August 31st. It's focused on preventing loss of life from home fires by ensuring that all homes have working smoke alarms. In addition, firefighters are offering valuable home safety information. A different station is highlighted each Saturday. One held an open house, another a water safety event, and several stations have held events at senior high-rise facilities. If they are not hosting a highlighted event, crews canvas high-risk areas during the afternoon. To date, 207 79 batteries and 827 smoke alarms have been installed and 1,814 homes have been made safer. For more information about the program, follow the Durham Fire Department on Facebook or on Twitter and Instagram at Durham City Fire. The city's annual water quality report is now available for 2018. The report, called Water Works for You, shows that Durham's two water treatment plants provided 26 million gallons per day to more than 280,000 people in the city's service area. That was done while the Water Management Department continued significant projects to improve efficiency, operation, and technology at both plants. The Williams Water Treatment Plant's 45 million gallon reservoir was brought back into service after receiving a new concrete apron that will ensure the reservoir's safety for decades to come. At the Brown Water Treatment Plant, recognized as producing the best tap water in the state, upgrades are ongoing and construction is expected to be completed this fall. For more of this year's water highlights, visit DurhamNC.gov 3183. You can also follow at Durham Water on Facebook and Twitter. The Mayor's Council for Women has just completed its inaugural year. At its inception, the nine-member council was tasked with a fairly broad mission to improve the opportunities and quality of life of women in Durham. How it goes about doing that is up to its members. The City Council received the Council for Women's first annual report during its June 6th work session. While much of the work was foundational, including establishing bylaws and procedures, there were also a variety of community-based initiatives the Council organized and participated in. Some of those included helping to pass the resolution to recognize the Convention on the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women, writing a letter in support of Durham educators in their fight for a more just education system, organizing a spring break food drive at McDougal Terrace, and advocating for the safety of patients at Planned Parenthood in Durham. For more information about the Mayor's Council for Women, visit DurhamNC.gov 238, or you can contact the City Clerk's Office at 919-560-4166. Innovate Durham is now accepting applications from entrepreneurs for its 2019 program. The program is in its third year and is partnering again with Durham County Government. Entrepreneurs will use both local governments as a laboratory to develop, test, and scale innovative ideas. During the 2018 program, seven companies tackled a wide range of issues such as software platform that connects residents to HIV resources and services and using technology to make waste pickup more efficient. Applications for this year's program will be accepted through July 22nd. Startups and entrepreneurs that are selected they will begin testing their products or services with access to the city and county staff, data, and facilities in mid-August. A demo day to showcase the results of their work will be held in early December. Applications and more information can be found at DermanC.gov 3165.